Okay, here we go. This is going to be how to create a reverb bus for your audio tracks in Reaper. So you're going to start off with your project, and if you're like me, you're going to have one track called Amazing Guitar, and another track called Amazing Solo. And if we listen to this, we can hear that, yeah, the performance is out of this world, but uh, it's going to need a little little uh, little love it's like yeah sounds cool but let's add some reverb right so to do that we're gonna add a new track and we're going to name it because you should always name all your tracks and I always just go with all uppercase verb for all my receives or just like all uppercase that way I know uh, which ones are which when I see them in drop downs and stuff that I know that's a receive because it's in all over case. And then to that we will add the reverb effect we want. I'm going to use the built-in REA verb and I'm going to pick the lovely sweet verbo preset <laughs> and since it's a receive you know bus effect we really don't care about the dry because we got all the dry we need up in these original tracks. What we're trying to do is get rid of that. And so this thing's whole job is just to create reverb for us. So drop that down to zero. You can leave the wet where it is, or you could put it up more. But I suppose probably just leave it around there. And then to send audio to it, we'll just go to our guitar tracks here and in the... Uh, send hardware section here. Click that and then oops. on the uh, drop down here pick the verb track that we just created. So we're saying hey I want to send some signal from these guitar tracks over to the reverb unit. And before you click play <laughs> also drop down the reverb quite a bit because otherwise it can be really loud. Once you start doing it, you'll also know that you probably want to do something else over here, but we're going to show that in a second. But I just want to show what it sounds like, kind of with the default settings here. It's going to sound like way, way too much reverb. Alright, so that's great. It's working, but there's way too much, right? So these send knobs over here, what that's telling me right there is that it's at zero decibels, so it's sending the full volume level of that track into the reverb unit for both of these, right? So that's going to create a lot of reverb. So what we want to do is just drop that down quite a bit. I usually start in the negative 12 to 15 area. You know, it's a good starting spot. And like I said before, this is once you get used to it, you'll just do this automatically. You know, when you, as soon as you add it, you're like, yeah, I just drop them all down. And so now, if we listen to it, Ooh, that's starting to sound pretty good, right? There we go. And then one other thing you probably want to do on your reverb track, which you probably should be doing on all your tracks, also, is add an EQ. And... With the REA EQ thing here, you can just pick this basic 150 high pass, which is saying, like, basically drop all the frequencies below 150 hertz because we don't need those. All that's going to do is muddy up the mix. And so now, if we were to solo a reverb track, which is also kind of a cool thing you can do, you can just hear exactly what's coming out of the reverb on its own. So if I drag this to the right, you can hear it's dropping out more and more and more of the low frequencies up until it just sounds like hiss. And then if you put it all the way left, especially if you had like really bassy things going on, then this would just be all full of bass. So maybe just drop this here. Something like that. Now if we listen to the whole track. There we go. We have a reverb send. Easy peasy, right? So there it is. Until next time. <laughs>